was an artist artist. If it wasn't a journey inwards, a journey inside of himself, then it wasn't a journey worth taking. He was a loving father to six of his 12 children. He was a musician, a shoulder to lean on, and above all, a phenomenal actor. I remember when we were shooting Too Cool for Summer and uh, Baxter would always do this thing where he'd be mid monologue and um, he'd pause, he'd look behind the camera and he'd go, line. He had a mouth for language. He knew how to use it. He'd always be talking, 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 talking. I have produced over 10 features with a Bax, including Hendrix, the now uh, controversial Jimi Hendrix biopic, uh, Enough Men for Two, and of course, Moon Love Her. Popo. Oh. Shabib. Shibo. Shoop, shoop. Ha. Babopi. Shoop, 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 shoop. Before Moon Love Her, it would have been unthinkable to have a romantic tragedy featuring a gay alien. I tell Bex, you do this movie, people only ever gonna see you as a gay alien. He evolved from the man women love to love to the man men love to like, and then the man men love to love. Moon Lover was the picture that made Bex de Beaumont. That was the only time I've ever been wrong. His life was acting. He convinced me not once, but twice, that we were going to be together until death do us part. You know, uh, Bex's death really, really hit me hard. Harder than my daughter's death, to be honest. I really got along with her. And I was depressed for months. Normally you could sell depression, but I was too depressed to sell it. On the page, the line is, uh, is a um. But, uh, but when he say it, it's a um, a um.